Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Paul Brown's show. This evening, my guest will be Miss Donna Harrelson, and she has her cast members for her play, Cinderella. Cinderella. How you doing, Miss Harrelson? Thank you for coming back on the show. Well, thank you, Mr. Brown. I'm honored to be here. Okay. Well, first of all, let's introduce you have the members. Okay. Um, we have Mr. Johnny McNeil, who will play the senator okay. um, in Cinderella. We have Susan Ross, who will play the wife of Mr. Eric Bradley, um, the son of the senator. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's that's my partial cast of a major production. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how about the young lady right here? Susan Ross. Susan Ross. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. All right, so... Cinderella, tell the audience a little bit about, first about yourself because you have an awesome pro, uh, playwright that you do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I am, again, playwright Donna Harrelson um, for a ministry called Transforming Souls. Correct. Um, when I was last here, I told you about mm -hmm. how Transforming Souls came about, and uh, that's what we do. We put on major productions. Um, that will give the audience uh, a transformation. We lead, uh, we take situations in the community and um, we pray about them, um, we perform them, and not only does the cast have a uh, transformation, but the audience will as well. So you have to come out and see this particular play, uh, Cinderella. When it's is awesome. it? It is September 14th at the um, Cultural Arts Center in Greensboro, North Carolina. The name of the theater is the Van Dyke Theater. Okay. Now let's talk uh, to some of your cast members. Okay. Gentlemen right here in the back, tell yes. the audience about yourself and tell us a little bit about why you want to be part of this Cinderella. Uh, well, I've, I've been doing theater since high school off and on. Uh, some short films, so we, we're talking in the 30-year kind okay. of range. Um, Donna writes a lot of plays about things that the black community needs to hear about. Correct. That the black community usually kind of turns a blind eye to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's there, they know it's there, but they don't want to acknowledge these things. And I feel that uh, there needs to be a medium where uh, people can see these things for themselves. Because in my experience, it's been oftentimes that uh, people don't want to talk about it for whatever reasons. Mm -hmm. But when they see it on stage, they can privately process uh, whatever's going on. Okay. And I believe that once people process things that way, it can open up the lines of communication about it. And some of the issues that uh, we have in the black community, you can put them on stage and they can help start a conversation about them. Okay. Agreed. Agreed. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm Susan Ross. I have been acting for a few years. I had taken a break due to illness, but I'm better now. And I prayed about it and I said, Lord, bless me with something that can help me help you reach others and miss donna came along okay and i'm like thank you lord that was an answer to a prayer mm -hmm. and now i'm here because i feel that this right here is what a lot of people in the community need because there are some people that are hurting silently suffering silently and wondering am i alone in this how do I process this? How do I get through this? Mm -hmm. Can somebody give me a sign or help me find a way out of where I am in this turmoil? Mm -hmm. And I feel like Cinderella has a way. It helps people to release. Mm. You can do it by yourself, with yourself, or reach out to those that love you and those that are around in the community that can help you. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Yes, sir. 
Okay, my name is Eric Bradley, and um, this is actually going to be my first play, but I've, I've always done work in the entertainment industry, but uh, when I was approached to do the play, um, after reading the script, I just fell in love with it. Um, it has a lot to do with, like, uh, like my co-stars here were saying, uh, it has a lot to do with real life and the stigma that's going on in, in the black community, things that we choose not to talk about or mm -hmm. we shun away from because, you know, uh, what somebody may think or what somebody may say. So when I, like I said, when I read this play, it was just like awesome. And anything that has to do with ministry and like, like Donna said, transforming souls, you know, because I'm looking for my soul to be transformed through this process as well. And um, I'm learning a lot from my, my people Years and you know, Miss Donna, she's a very um, knowledgeable woman, Correct. and I just thank God for you know placing her and you know in my path to do this play. Thank mm. you, Miss Harrison. Yes, sir. Okay, so you wrote this play. Yes. How did you come about? What's the thought process as far as this play coming into existence? Um, well, any play that I write. Um, I write what I hear. Mm -hmm. uh, Cinderella has been probably one of the, the biggest challenges for me because with Cinderella, spelt with an S, okay. we focus on the sin. Mm -hmm. So um, in this, um, what I was led to write about was just not only this particular sin that we do in Cinderella, mm -hmm. but it involves so many other sins from so many other people you know, all wrapped up to one. And the key to it all um, is deliverance. Okay. So um, when I was writing this play, and again, um, being challenged by what I was hearing um, to write, and the more that I, I, I would write about this particular um, play, I was not only um, learning about the different um, ways. Um, when people have, uh, let's say, um, when we talk about the gay community, mm -hmm. a lot of times it's taboo. Okay. People don't want to talk about uh, the gay community. And, and I don't even like using the word uh, gay or homosexuality or any of that because we're all God's children. So we all have to come. You don't know how this person or that person um, became that way. Okay. So that's why we focus on the sin when I was writing this. So we could talk about... Um, this one particular person, how he came about his story. Hmm. Everybody has a story. So we shouldn't point the finger um, or we shouldn't pick or, you know, hate a particular group. Cinderella helps educate people on how this person came to be. Hmm. So um, everybody, everybody has fell short of God's glory. Everybody has sinned. Correct. Um, so by focusing on the sin, we tell a phenomenal story about one person who I'm sure is not only in your family, somebody, a friend of yours family, somebody that you know. And we educate people on how to support these people, how to love these people, not to turn away from them, but always reaching out a hand to help them. We do in Cinderella what God has taught me to do, love. Mm. Love thy neighbor. Mm. I mean, Cinderella, I mean, with that, do you feel like in today's society we are accepting, is it the LGBTQ mm -hmm. community? Do you feel like we are doing more of an effort to accepting that community? community or do you feel like we still have that gap? It, that, there's going to always be a gap because when you don't understand or you're not educated about somebody's story, mm -hmm. there has to be a gap because when, when people are different, you, 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 you bring a gap, mm -hmm. you stay separated. But when you um, have an open mind and um, listen to what someone is saying, how this became, how this happened, um, then, you, then you, you have a different outlook. I know I did. Because there was once a time when I wouldn't touch uh, 
a story, Cinderella. Mm -hmm. uh, wouldn't even thought about writing it. But again, because I write what I hear, and the closer that I get to God, you, and when you think about who God is, God is a loving spirit. Mm -hmm. God is, is one who don't turn away from anybody, but will have you to turn unto him. Okay. So when you, when you practice that kind of love, um, instead of you uh, criticizing someone that's different of yourself, you become to learn how they came about this. Because there's some things that, um, you know, in my closet, I wouldn't want anybody, okay. you know, to know. But I have a loving family and I have supportive friends mm -hmm. that when my story was told, they understood better because I was able to explain how this came about. But I, I think with, as a whole, um, with the LBGT uh, community, and um, I, I think they need to really come out and see uh, Cinderella because um, until they do or until they learn how to support each other, we're, we're going to stay separated. Mm -hmm. We're going to we're going to keep a gap. Right. You know, we're going to hate the unknown. Mm -hmm. We're going to hate the indifferent. But uh, Cinderella will change your mind at how mm -hmm. you look at things, um, how you see people. Again, everybody has a story. Okay. Everybody has a story. Now, for your cast members, how did y'all when y'all read the script? How did y'all feel about being? in this type of play? That's a good question. Well, like I was saying before, um, I strongly believe that uh, the visual part of seeing something on stage mm -hmm. helps you to be able to, it allows you in your own mind without anybody else knowing anything about it, Correct. to, uh, to give it the truth that it needs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it allows you to be open with yourself. Uh, and oftentimes, people walk around with so much weight on their shoulders, on their chest about different things uh, that you need something to help you to lift that weight off of you. Correct. And seeing it on stage, I believe, is something that uh, gives you the opportunity to evaluate your own self, your own mm -hmm. feelings Absolutely. Uh, about what's going on uh, and to evaluate them truthfully. Uh, sometimes even though you may have a conversation about a thing with someone, you still hold back. Correct. Uh, because you don't want to be judged, uh, you, you don't want them to think ill of you or things of that nature, but when it's just you and yourself mm -hmm. and you're seeing this thing and as she's saying, there may be different reasons uh, for a person's behavior or the way that they are. And once you see uh, for yourself, your own mind, your own eyes, uh, your own feelings, uh, what some of these things are that could possibly cause a person to uh, have a certain type of behavior and realize that, you know, that's real. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can allow yourself to think, well, what if that happened to me? How would I react to that? What would I do? And I believe that just that thought in your own mind kind of releases you to feel sympathy, compassion, uh, and, and put it also in a real light as to what's going on with this person. Not what you heard somewhere, uh, not, not what the crowd is talking about and all this kind of stuff like that. but. It's a very real situation that could happen to anyone. Correct. So uh, I think that, that helps to release that weight off of you a little bit to give yourself the opportunity to, uh, to, to, to be with them, to, 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 to feel a little bit of what they feel. Mm -hmm. Understand. And in this world, in today's world, I, I think that a lot of that feeling uh, has completely gone down the drain. Mm -hmm. and, but for people to, to truthfully, uh, I mean truthfully, see what's going on, 
I think that that'll help them be able to relate better okay. uh, to a situation. So, uh, and once you feel comfortable, because mm-hmm. most people feel things that they feel uncomfortable about, then all sorts of walls and different things come up. Right. But when you feel comfortable about it, or either comfortable enough to at least venture into truth or truthful discussion about it, mm-hmm. then things open up, things get better. Um, you relate to people better. So a play like this, um, or I- I- any type of play, really, you know, you got, you got your detention in the play or whatever, and, and when, that, when the truth of that tension is revealed, I think it helps the audience be able to go home, if not in, in an entirely different mind, at least be willing to think about it. And we get to at least be willing to think about it because that's the only way that things get cleared up. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Next. When I read the script, mm-hmm. I cried. I kind of embraced and embodied every character that I read. And I'm like, I I hurt, I ache. I feel the pain that I'm reading on this page. And I myself was beginning to look for understanding. I'm like, I'm putting myself in that place. Mm-hmm. Can anybody understand where I'm coming from? Mm-hmm. Can anybody hear me? Can anybody see me? Mm-hmm. And that okay. brought everything like right in front of my face. I'm like, wow, this, this is really what's going on today. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are really looking to be seen. And they're not being seen. They are being looked over, like past, like they're in a shadow and nobody can pull them out. They're looking for a way out. They're looking for that light at the end of that very dark tunnel that they're walking in by themselves. I felt that pain and I wanted to be one of those people to shine the light, to show them the way out. Good stuff. Yes. Well, for me, it was, I'm glad that this play is coming to coming to surface because of the the education part of it. Mm-hmm. Um, coming from a background that um, being out there in the in the community with LBGTQ plus um, members of you know of, of the society, I'm gonna tell you, we've come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. Mm-hmm. Um, there's still like a lot of unnecessary killing, mm-hmm. um, unnecessary uh, harassment, bullying because of people' uh, lifestyle. Um, a lot of people feel like, okay, you know, you, you, this is something that you're just doing, or you are out here, you know, just just having fun, and and and, and that's not even the case, you know. You you hear people, oh, are you born like this, or you know, and it, it's not even a point. And, you know, God, we all were created in right. His image, and whatever image that is, it ain't for me to choose or me to say. The image is what God saw when he started creating me. So I'm just glad that we are able to tell the story because I know that there's a lot of hurting people out there. And being raised in, in church and, you know, and, 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 oh, you don't do this and you don't act like this and, you know, you got to do this and, you know, people going to look at you any kind of way. You know, it's all about being happy now. You know, I'm tired of looking at people committing suicide because of they because they the way they choose to live, you know, because who they want to love and who they want to be loved by, you know. So I, I'm I am honored and I, I'm glad that God is using me to, you know, to get my word out and you know, and, and help somebody else get their word out. You know, I'm speaking for the ones that's afraid to speak, you know. So and I thank Miss Donna. 
And, and like I said, every day, you know, every time I, I have been so committed to this play that I go home and I, I study, you know, and I, I, I grab hold to everybody's character because, you know, I want everything to be, you know, I want everything to go well. You know, and I want people to get the message. This is just not something to, to make money. There's a message in this, you yes, know, yes. and people need to come out and, and listen and see. You know, just like my, my, my friend here said, visual. I'm a visual person. Mm. If I can see it, then we can make it happen. I know you talk a lot about is I haven't seen the play. Is it some comedy in it? Or is it this is a serious play? Because I know when you're dealing with this type of topic, mm -hmm. a lot of people they don't joke when you're dealing with this. You know, some people are I mean, even in you, because you go into the church, you see people that don't even want to deal with this topic. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, it's like, so would you consider your plate? Is there going to be some laughter in it, or is it because I'm saying this is a, you're dealing with a topic that a lot of people don't think is it's fun. funny. Correct. It's funny. Um, you can't do anything this powerful without relieving yourself mm -hmm. with some type of laughter. Correct. Yeah. Um, so there are moments when it's, it's going to be hilarious, um, but there are moments that you're going to be glued to, your eyes are going to be glued to the stage where you don't want to miss, you know, another part. Correct. Um, and then there are going to be times that you're going to need a box of tissue. Um, so it has all of these um, things in it. You're going to laugh, you're going to cry, you're going to... Um, you're going to be educated. You're just going to be overwhelmed mm. with what Cinderella is really all about. And um, also at the same time, um, again, you will be transformed. But it, it is going to be um, some laughter in it. Um, like there's one part um, in it where, because um, I, don't, I don't really want to you know, tell. Correct. But mm. there's one part in it when... Um, the wife is going to ask the husband, mm -hmm. Hoppo, who this woman? You know, who, who is this person? So it, it's, it's got some funny things added to it. Um, so, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, some funny, it's some funny to it. And as far as it, it, it relating to, no one is laughing at the person mm -hmm. because they're just this way. It's just that sometimes the situations or the different scenes that come up, it, it has to be some laughter. And you got to break some of that up. Or else, you know, you'd be crying through the whole entire, you know, production. So, yeah, it's some funny parts. So do you feel like, you know, the LGBT community, will they be able to accept the show? Because that's what I'm saying. I mean, people take things differently. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, You're right. everybody see things differently. And some people, we may think, this, but some people, they take it a whole different way. They see, you can, we can look at a TV show and have different perspective. That's right. That's all right. this, you know, and some people may not consider that funny mm -hmm. because this is their lifestyle. Well, I mean, I knew going in there was going to be some Correct. controversy. Uh -huh. You know, I, 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 I knew that, but. Um, Again, it takes an open mind Correct. to be able to look at Cinderella. And either you're going to let it educate you mm -hmm. and transform you, or you're going to fight against it. And if you fight against it, then you still may be ignorant to some things that actually go on Correct. Um, in the community. Um, this is to bring wisdom to people about our community. Not just this particular subject, but just so many things that surround Correct. this particular subject. Um, because, like what you were saying, like some people in church um, don't want to touch it. Correct. Um, however, you hear about on the news that you got pastors, mm -hmm. you know, having these relationships with people in their congregation. So let's not be double-minded. Let's not, you know, turn away from something or somebody that we don't even know or know anything about mm -hmm. when, again, you have somebody who's presenting the Word of God who's involved in these relationships. One of the things um, I always love to hear pastors say, don't come, don't leave the same way you came. Mm -hmm. um, in order to do that, 
for me not to leave um, the same way I came, you have to open up these subjects. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to open up these subjects in the church. Mm -hmm. You have to talk about homosexuality. You have to talk about domestic violence. You have to talk about human trafficking. Correct. You have to talk about child abuse. You have to talk about all of these things in mm -hmm. order for... Um, mm -hmm. People not okay. to, to leave the same way they came. We're running short on time. If someone wanted to get in contact with you, how would they go about doing that? Donna Harrelson. I'm Facebook. On Facebook, I am Donna Harrelson. Um, my telephone number is 704-309-4328. Um, the name of the ministry is Transforming Souls. And again, the telephone number is 704-309-4328. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming on the show. And we look forward to seeing you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching the show. You be encouraged.